Okay, so here's basically what the class looks like that I've built. We've got sleep method that I use for asynchronous um, calls to the PLC. I've got several kind of we've been doing we haven't been doing much with classes because I haven't had a need to teach it yet but I've got several classes here that dip into the parts of the PLC's memory and allocate it and then I have derived ones and I've got the beginning of some little helper things like we did in the GPIO 0 they have a button so I wanted to make an HOA switch and uh, the class is basically we instantiate it by connecting to our PLC. You can see I have here client. That's Snap7's client library. Then I have the PLC um, init instantiate that. We've got things that return our data types that we create. And then I have a to do for the, the handoff auto switch. I have the scan, which is basically scanning the PLC every um, scan time we choose. Reading the memory, um, if there's anything to write, it will write it, and then it'll read again. It checks to see if there's anything in our write queue when we've created when we've created these memory objects. Checks to see if there's anything in the write queue. We don't have we don't uh, call too many connections. We don't we, we haven't created very many connections to the PLC, so we we can't create more than one connection to the PLC or take many of those up because they don't have very many to use. So I create a queue for things to write. And if it's greater than zero, then we read, we get the latest data from the data block, then we write our memory, and then we read it again. So uh, whatever needs to be shown on, on our call, we can do that. So each of these, we're going through memory we set up, whether it's in the input output data block memory. Then we have a stop and we have a reconnect. I haven't tested the reconnect yet, but Okay, so here we go. Make this bigger. We've got PLC. I'm connecting to my PLC. I have a half second scan time. I've got two LEDs set up. I've got an output, a button. Those are the buttons connected to I06, and then I have the Pi button connected to 27. And what we're going to do is we're going to toggle an output on the PLC when we press it and then when that note it no when we know that the PLC output is on we're going to turn an LED on this output only sets its value to true when it's actually read from the PLC that it's true and when i push the button on the PLC we're going to turn on a second LED and with uh, what i'm doing what i'm using is twisted um, twisted web which lets you have a a main loop with a uh, asynchronous threading. So we keep this reactor.run and it kind of pauses until something happens and we have these inline callbacks to have to asynchronously run while we are waiting for something to happen. So let's run this. Okay, so here's the Pi. I'm in my Python. My S70 is what I call it. If I run S70, I've got a error is let's see why it's on line 316 and somehow I put a one right there okay all right our, our program's theoretically running I'll hit record on the camera so we are supposed to turn on an LED when it we have an input come true since we have a half a second delay you can see it kind of comes on half a second after I push it. Got this one. So that was a toggle. It's red that our our output's on. Okay, so we're using the Pi's DPIO, turning output on the PLC, and as soon as our Pi gets the message that output's on, it turns on the LED. So I'm going to show you, we're going to turn up the scan time so we can get the, that data a little bit quicker. And let's do a scan time of 0 0.01 second. All right, program's running again. 
that's pretty instant. We'll